Um, I see a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. Oh, whoa. Welcome to episode eight. In this episode, we hit up a church sale, a couple of yard sales, and a couple of estate sales. We didn't buy a ton of stuff. We only spent $75 total. We're still waiting on the truckload to come down from uh, Connecticut when I did the house clean out. So we got a ton of stuff we're gonna have to list to go through and clean up. So we didn't wanna go overboard with it. Those episodes will be posted later. We wanted to wait till the truck got here so you could see some of the stuff that we got out of the house. But uh, anyway, excuse my shirt. It's the summer in the South. I'm sweating through my shirt right now. We're under a heat advisory, possible record setting temperatures this week. But uh, anyway, let's get to it. Show you what we got. We're having yard sale next weekend. Okay. If the weather holds out. Vintage stuff? There's some vintage stuff. Um, you know, we have really big sales. I don't think it's going to be as big as usual. Okay. Um, we appreciate y'all coming. Still, a lot of weird stuff. So. Okay, I'm down for weird stuff. Okay.
This is all the stuff we got from our sourcing trips this weekend. A church sale, some garage sales, and a couple of estate sales. We only spent $75 total on everything. We've slowed down our buying a little bit because we got that truckload of stuff from the house clean out on its way. But we're going to get into it. And uh, my wife Amy's going to show you what we got. I haven't even seen this stuff because uh, I was taking care of the kids while she was out sourcing. But uh, let's get into it. All right, we got this box of ornaments. It was $30 for everything. I really like to sell ornaments because they're easy to list. People love ornaments, they're easy to ship. So it looks like there's maybe, I don't know, 10 boxed ornaments. They're all like hand painted. Dillard's. I think we can get $15 per ornament. And there are some other little things in here. Can I look at one? They're nice ornaments. Oh yeah, very nice. These ones are all Pier 1 
still new with the tags. And then a bunch of these ornament holders from Pier 1. I have no idea if these are worth anything. And then a little Andrea by Sadek rabbit. And this really cool, what is this called? Tree topper. Tree topper. Yeah. Yeah, let me get a shot of it. Let me tell you. That's probably worth more like $30. I think it's tall too. Yeah. Okay, so that was that estate sale. Um, I also grabbed this plate from Goodwill. I rarely go to Goodwill these days. I just went because I was dropping off some donations. And this is a Ray Dunn plate. I do not recommend picking up a ton of Ray Dunn. The market is totally oversaturated. But this one caught my eye because it has this stamp, this magenta stamp. This means it's an earlier Ray Dunn. Um, and when I looked it up, they're sold at like 60 and $75. I paid $2. Score. Okay, the church sale, I didn't get too much. Um, if you saw some of the clips, it was kind of a madhouse in there. It was like just grabbing all kinds of stuff, but I only picked a few things. Thomas the Tank is actually a Volo. This was brand new in the box. I figured if it wasn't worth anything, my daughter would like it. Um, I paid $10 for this. Guess how much the comps are? Shane. 50. $125. Holy cow. That is definitely going on eBay. Yeah, she's not playing with it. So that's brand new in the box. That should sell easily. It looks like it was a Christmas present that no one ever played with. That's kind of sad, but... Um, this is a Guitar Hero Wii guitar. That's like $35. And then, if you saw in the clip, if I got it, um, there was a whole table full of jewelry. You always want to look at the jewelry. Didn't get anything great this time at all. Um, but I'll grab like vintage pins and put them in a lot and sell them that way. You know, for 25, 50 cents is worth a gamble. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I've definitely found some gold and silver before. So that's pretty much all I got at that sale. Okay, at one yard sale, I didn't get it on film, but this was a dollar. It was. Legos. I usually don't buy Legos because I don't feel like putting them together and finding if all the pieces are there. Um, but it had the directions of the Lone Ranger. And I saw some of the miniatures in there. So, guess how much this is worth? I have no idea. Okay. It is so, a Lone Ranger. Thing. Brand new in the box. These are like a hundred plus dollars. I'm going to sell it as is. I don't feel like finding out if all the pieces are here. So I think maybe we might do like even 40 or $50. Still. And see if we get some bites of that. I know you can sell these guys individually. Sometimes $10, $15 just for the little figures. So yeah, for a dollar, sure. All right, I walked up to this one yard sale. It's the same yard sale I got the Legos at. This was just sitting on the ground and I looked in and the bows was in there. They only wanted $20. I figured any bows would be worth $20. I know this is a DVD system. People still buy DVD players. So this is the whole thing. It's got the remote. It's even got the original instructions and everything. All the pieces are there. This is probably very expensive and brand new. Oh, I'm sure. So, pre-owned, you can either piece it out or sell it as the whole um, kit. I'm thinking like 200. We're gonna have to look up more comps, but I'm thinking like 200. And then I grabbed a couple of pieces of clothing. Columbia is not usually a bolo, but um, it had this Aztec kind of design, so I took a chance. Now that I'm looking at it, there's some stains. So if we can't get those out, this is probably going back to being donated. Give it a wash and see what happens. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren Chaps leather jacket. Um, some comps are like 60 bucks. Maybe we can get like, I don't know, it looks pretty worn. Maybe 40, 50 bucks. We'll have to clean that up. 
then a J. Crew cashmere sweater. That was a dollar. And a Lily Pulitzer trench coat, pink trench coat. This was a dollar as well. So I figured it was worth a gamble. We'll have to wash it and see. I didn't really look it over. It looks okay. Gotta be worth more than a dollar. Yeah, so I don't know, maybe twenty, thirty dollars. Not a bad little haul for a Saturday when we're trying not to go big. As always, visit our store at CoastalResaleTherapy.com. The link would be posted in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. It's way too hot.